Hey everyone, today we're going to be creating Christmas angel wings. This is a beautiful wreath that you can use inside or outside your home. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm Tanya. I hope you all like, share, and subscribe. We're going to go ahead and get started with two of the wire rimmed candy canes. And we're going to be using these to create this beautiful design. These little angel wings turned out absolutely beautiful. I was creating this particular design for a friend, but I hope this inspires you to create your own set of the Christmas angel wings. Now, the first thing we're going to do for this design is zip tie our candy cane wreath rims together. And you're going to have to flip one of them over so they're facing each other. Now, there will be kind of a hump on the one that you flipped over, but that's okay because we're going to be covering that up with plenty of the mesh ribbon. Now, I zip tied this really well. I added probably four or five of the zip ties. Just make sure it's secure is what you need to do. And then you'll flip it over. And I'm going to be using this Poly Pro mesh ribbon. And this one has a cotton feel to it. And the reason why I picked this one up is because it was really good for the base of this before we actually add that real thin mesh ribbon. Now, I just cut this probably about... I don't know, maybe 10 inches, and that way you can just roll it like I did there. And then you're going to put the other mesh that I picked up at Dollar Tree. Now, that first mesh, I did get at Michael's, and I think they have it at Hobby Lobby. But you can see what we're going to be doing. We're going to be cutting strips of that, kind of rolling it up. You want the points to be at each end. And even though this is going to be covered up, I was just doing this so it would just kind of have the same flow. And I just went ahead and started there at the bottom, zip tying these on. And we're going to build this up underneath just to try to cover up the wire part of the candy canes. And I'm just going to keep cutting strips of this out. I ended up only having to use four of these to really cover it because we're going to be adding several different layers of the mesh. And I did get all of my other mesh from Dollar Tree and the one there that kind of has the little speckles in it. And then I used one that kind of had some pinstripes. And you can mix and match the mesh ribbons like I did with the stripes and the little polka dots on there. Because once you get this design put together, anything that you do as long as you're using the mesh ribbon is just going to turn out beautiful, everyone. Now you can see how I'm kind of folding this down. And I'm going to zip tie this one really well as far as to all the little ends. And that's just to form the base of this. And I did pick up my clear zip ties there at Dollar Tree. And you can just snip them off. Like I said, there's going to be so many layers that you're not going to be able to see the underneath part here. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to take some more of this mesh ribbon and we're going to cut a few strips, roll it up like I was telling you, kind of just roll it kind of at an angle where you can get the little points. And then I'm going to start adding those to the bottom. And you just have to keep trying to build the shape underneath so you'll be able to follow this shape as you're adding the top layer. So I decide to put these two pieces right here and that's just going to give me kind of that design of the wings and how the feathers would lay. And then I'm just going to take more of this one that's made with the cotton and you could actually use um, some sheets of that uh, faux snow like the sheets of um, even... Um, quilt batting, anything to cover up your candy canes would work on this. And you could even just wrap these candy canes in some of the cotton and that way it would cover them up and then put your mesh ribbon on top. So you've got lots of options. I just like doing it this way because that would give me the base of some of the little pieces kind of feathering out on each side and down the center. Now we're going to start taking some of that mesh ribbon from Dollar Tree and you can see I'm just going to use a little string on these and I'm just going to tie those up and that will keep these together a lot better and 
I decided to do a whole bunch at a time. So I just cut out the length. And like I said, it's probably about 10 inches on these. And then you just want to cut points at each end. And then you're going to be able to tie all these up. I just used some rope twine that I picked up at Dollar Tree. And that worked really well. And I just trimmed it down where it just kind of blended in with the mesh ribbon. And once I got several of those, I started just placing them on there just to see how I could get the shape of the angel wings to come together. And you can just play with this and build as many layers. But the main thing about this design is just trying to form where it looks like little feathers kind of coming out on each end and then some up to the top and some down to the bottom. And everyone, once you get this all put together, it just looks so pretty and you can put any decorations of your choice on here and you're going to have a really beautiful Christmas angel wing design. And this would look wonderful. On your front door you could put this on a fireplace and really you could display this anywhere in your home and what a sweet and wonderful little design to have up for the christmas holidays now you can see once i got all those glued onto the top now we're going to start gluing some of these like I said, you got to feather them out and you want to do that on both sides. And you can see already how this is coming together and it looks like it's starting to shape what angel wings would actually look like. And you want to just raise up each little piece of the mesh that you glued down before and then just pop one underneath. And then you'll go back and maybe fill in a few little places uh, on the top if you need to if it's still showing through but that's the thing about this design everyone you can just keep adding as much of these little mesh pieces to just make this design look any way you want I was showing you there how I was kind of bending the candy canes in because you can even bend the bottom part of your wings in any shape that you want them to be now I just kept on gluing these in I think now I'm actually using the ones that has the uh, just looks like little netting on here and then I had some of the striped and like I said it really looked pretty when I did blend all of the different mesh ribbons in there I think that added a lot of texture to this design and just made it really pretty and full but everyone, this is the only one that I have today. I have been really super busy this week, so we'll be back on track next week with our Wednesday and Saturday video. And I'll probably have an extra video pop in there for you also. But like I said, I've been busy this week, and this is the one that I decided to design because I was doing it for a friend of mine. And we're actually going to be doing a different technique for the bow that is going to be on this particular design. And I've been wanting to share with you some of these bow ideas, so I hope you stick around and... Uh, so you can see how I create this really beautiful bow that's going to go in the center. Now I got this in the wedding section at Hobby Lobby. And this is just some ribbon that has some tiny little pearls in it. And it's tied together in little loops. And I wanted to make some little streamers going down the center here. And so I just cut some of that and lifted it up and hot glued that. And that was just another little accent piece. For this design and I think it just really made it pretty having those little streamers coming out of the center part there. Now I'm just going to take some of these pine cones and greenery that I had in my craft stash. I think I might have picked these up at Hobby Lobby last year when they were marked down. And I just decided to do this really simple. I'm just going to take some of the pine cones and the greenery and glue it on each side of this design. Because on this particular design, I'm going to be adding this really pretty blue bow right to the center. And I had a few sprigs of the pine branches and I decided just to pop those on and have them flaring out. But you can see everyone how pretty this is already turning out. Now here's the bow we're going to be making. I'll show you a picture. And this is really simple, especially if you are not someone who loves to make bows. I hope this gives you an idea on how to create these because you're basically just going to be cutting strips of ribbon and gluing them onto this little bow tie piece of cardboard. 
Now, after you get your cardboard cut into the size that you need it, and I like to cut it in this little bow tie shape because it just kind of helps me direct the ribbon in the direction I need it to go. I'm going to be using this blue ribbon, and it's actually a little bit too wide, so I'm going to go ahead and trim this down. Now, if you're using that, it's kind of like a velvet feel to this ribbon. This one is really easy to trim down and make any size that you want it because it doesn't fray on the edges. Now, once I get those two strips cut, I'm going to measure off another set of four. And you're going to have two, four, six loops that you're going to need for the larger part of this bow. And I'm also going to have to cut some short ones. And you can see here, I'm just moving the ribbon over because I want that to be a little bit shorter loop. And that's what's going to make this bow kind of look like the picture that I showed you in the beginning. So I hope I'm explaining that okay. You, you can tell more probably by just watching me, everyone, how I get this created. But basically, these bows are so simple because all you're doing is cutting strips. And you're going to be hot gluing them onto the cardboard. And you're going to be able to form this bow. And you can create these bows in any size or any shape that you want for any design that you're creating. And you can see, I'm just going to go ahead and trim this one down. And if you don't get these perfect, it's okay. Just as long as you get them close to the same size, it's still going to make a beautiful bow. Now you can see I'm gluing the loops together. And I'm going to glue several of my loops together and get those situated. And you do want to let them dry for a few minutes before you start gluing these on to your little bow tie piece of cardboard. But everyone, I hope you've enjoyed this design today. This was a really fun one to create, and I think it's turned out beautiful. And you could do this in any color for your home decor, and it would make a wonderful design for Christmas. Now, our first two loops, we're just going to be placing them at the top of that little bow tie, and they're just going to come straight out from the point. And that's going to be your first two loops. And now we're going to take these and put them kind of in the center. And they're going to be coming straight out. And everyone, once you see how this is coming together, I know you're going to want to try one of these. Because it is the quickest and simplest way to create any bow for any size that you need for your design. And you could see I went ahead and glued those other ones going in the opposite direction and now we're just going to take some of the smaller ones and we're going to place those right over top to hide our raw edges on this part of the bow. And the fun part about this is when you create the center because all you're going to be doing is creating a little loop that is going to go right in the center. And the minute I glue this on, you can see how quick it was to create this bow. So I hope you enjoy this, and I hope that this gives you some inspiration to try some of these bows because I know you're going to enjoy the simplicity of how you can create these in a solid color ribbon, or you could use multiple colors of ribbon and add as many loops as you want. Now, I decide that I'm going to add some of the streamers to the bottom, and I just wanted to make some really short kind of simple ones because I didn't want to take too much away from the angel wreath itself and I'm just going to glue those right on with some more hot glue and you can see how beautiful this has turned out already. Now I decided I wanted to add two more loops up to the top so all I needed to do was cut those strips of ribbon hot glue them down on the ends and then I'm going to be gluing them together right there at the corners and kind of place them at an angle and that way when I lift it up you can see it just adds two more beautiful loops to the top of this bow. Now once I get this glued down on we'll just place the bow right on top with a little bit of hot glue and this bow will be completed and you can see how simple it was to create this design. Now you can go ahead and you can place your bow right in the middle there in between your greenery sprigs. And I just maneuvered everything around until I got it where I wanted it. 
And then I'm just gonna take some more of that hot glue and I'm just gonna glue everything down really well. And that will pretty much finish out this wreath. You can add any kind of extra little embellishments that you want. But like I said, I kept this one very simple and I'll have a video right here of it hanging up in my living room on an accent wall and everyone it turned out so beautiful and i do hope that you enjoyed this one today well everyone if you did enjoy our christmas angel wings and you think you're going to give this one a try don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel i hope you consider doing so i would love to have you as part of my youtube family have a wonderful rest of the weekend and i will see you soon